Hello everyone. In today's video, we will seeing this question from the 2013 year. This question is from molecular physics. So in this question, we have to explain why the separation between the vibrational levels in excited electronic state is smaller as compared to the ground electronic state. So here you can see in this figure the spacing in the ground electronic state between the vibrational levels is larger as compared to the excited electronic state so we are going to prove this so let's start with our solution so here you can see so this is the ground state potential well and this is the excited state potential well so we are going to represent this ground state with double prime and the excited state with single prime so here we are dealing with the vibronic transitions that means there is electronic transition plus vibrational transition also so let's first write the energy levels so let's write the total energy for the vibration vibrational level in the ground state this is the electronic energy in the ground state plus the vibrational energy in the ground state so we can write this as as you can see the shape of the potential well so this is an enharmonic potential so we will be writing the expression for the vibration energy when we are having the enharmonic potential so this will be adding this extra term which is having the xi e so this xi is an harmonicity constant similarly you can write the total energy level for the excited state so this is ee e prime the electronic energy for excited state and this is the vibrational energy so let's write the similar expression so here so here we are having the different vibrational frequencies for ground state and the excited state so our vibrational frequency that is omega e bar and the xi e both are dependent on the electronic states so this is our second term so we are going to represent the transition in this way this we are going to write the excited state first and the ground state second this is the standard convention we are going to use so this represents the excited state this represents the ground state if we are going from 0 to 0 or 0 to 1 so we are going to represent 0 0 and 1 0 so this is the representation we are going to follow so this delta e transition energy for 0 0 will be so let's take the difference e total v prime is equal to 0 minus e total v double prime is equal to 0 so let's put the values and the expression so this is e e prime so this is zero so this will be half omega e bar prime and this is 1 over 4 omega e bar xi e prime and this is our first and this is our second expression this e e double prime so this will become half omega e bar double prime Minus one over four omega e bar double prime xi e double prime. So let's move to the next page. So this is the energy difference for the zero zero transition. Similarly, we can find the delta e for one zero transition. That's going from zero to 
1. So we get EE e prime and this will be V plus half. So this will become 1 plus half is 3 by 2 omega e bar prime and minus 9 over 4 omega e bar prime xi e prime minus so this is 0 this, so this will remain the same so after finding these two energy difference for these two transition so we can find the spacing of the vibrational levels in the excited state so we are going to find the spacing between the vibrational levels in the excited electronic state so this will be taking the difference delta e 1 0 minus delta e 0 0 so this these two terms will cancel these two terms will cancel so we are left with 3 over 2 omega e prime minus 9 over 4 omega e bar prime xi e prime minus half and minus half omega e bar prime this will be plus 1 over 4 omega e prime xi e prime so this will become omega e bar prime minus twice omega e bar prime xi prime so we'll take this omega bar prime and this we are left with 1 minus 2 xi e prime this is our spacing for excited electronic state so let's find for the ground state now so now we are going to find the this transition so let's find the total energy for v bar v double prime equal electronic energy double prime plus the vibration energy which is v double prime plus half omega e double prime minus v double prime plus half whole square omega e bar double prime xi double prime so after putting this value we will be getting this energy level to be e e double prime half omega e bar double prime minus 1 over 4 omega e double prime xi e double prime similarly we are going to find out for v double prime is equal to 1 so this is v 0 and this is 1 2 so we are taking this transition from 0 to 1 in the ground state so this is e double prime plus when we put this 1 so this will be 3 by 2 omega bar double prime minus 9 over 4 omega e bar double prime psi e double prime so let's take the difference for finding the spacing so our spacing for vibrational levels in the ground electronic state will be the difference between the two levels so let's take the difference this will cancel each other so we are left with 3 over 2 omega e bar double prime minus 9 over 4 omega e double bar prime xi e double prime this is minus half omega e bar double prime minus minus plus this is 1 over 4 omega e double prime xi e double prime 
so this will give us omega e double prime minus twice omega e double prime xi e double prime so we will take this omega e double prime common and this is one minus two xi e double prime so this is our spacing for ground state so let's write on the next page so these are the spacing initial spacing and this will decrease as we increases the vibrational quantum number as you can see in this figure so these are the spacing for excited and the ground electronic states and as you can see in this figure the potential well for the excited electronic state and the potential well for the ground state so the potential well is shallow in excited electronic state than the ground state so that means because the depth gives us the dissociation energy so how much energy is required to dissociate that molecule so that means it is easier to dissociate the molecule in excited state because de prime is less as compared to de double prime so this is de double prime so we know the vibrational frequency that is omega e bar is directly proportional to the dissociation energy so if the dissociation energy required in the excited state is less that means our vibrational frequency is less in excited state than the ground state because this omega e prime is less than omega e double prime so our delta the spacing in the excited electronic state will be less as compared to the spacing in ground state the main factor which is producing this difference is the vibrational frequency this is a solution if you have any doubts related to this question you can write me in the comment box if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this video